All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, that will honors to the sincere apostles and elders of a great millstone who are my teachers, and peace and salutations to you brothers out there preaching this word in truth and sincerity. This is the brother Yahweh Sop with another lesson, and pretty much I'm just going to be going into some news and prophecy, man. All right, because we are at the end of Esau Edom's kingdom, also known as the so-called white man. All right, and the beginning. We are coming into the beginning of our kingdom for you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and North American Indians. All right, we are the ones that, that are go going to rule next. Moreover, the elect of that nation through Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. All right, are, we are going to rule next and we're going to rule in peace and prosperity. All right, and that's why you're seeing this, this uh, kingdom go through so much adversity man they're going through so many so many trials and tribulations and they're not going to be able to overcome all right eventually this place known as america aka babylon the great in the scriptures is eventually going to be destroyed and we're seeing the signs come to pass right now so without further ado as you can see from the title it says u.s debt rises to 33 trillion as government shutdown looms it says, as the U.S. national debt passes 33 trillion and a government shutdown looms, Wall Street feels defensive. That shutdown could sour sentiment and deal a blow to an economy already dealing with high gas prices, auto worker strikes, and elevated inflation, with some saying it could even increase the possibility of a recession, which if you don't believe we're in a recession, you're out of your mind, man. You're, you're lost in the sauce. All right, and so it says, Fitch sent Congress a wake-up call after the debt limit fighter earlier this month, earlier this summer, Stalakia. The ratings agency downgraded U.S. sovereign debt from AAA to AA plus in August, citing the nation's mountain, mounting debt and partisan brinkmanship as the major reasons behind its decision. So what they're pretty much doing is they're trying to allow... Um, <clears throat> uh, a debt increase all right which they they recently passed that that this year and i believe it was at 31.4 trillion and now they're already at 33 trillion all right that's a that's a lot of debt you know and and this is all spoken about in the scriptures woe to him that laid himself with thick clay roughly paraphrasing that thick clay being that debt all right and so we're seeing that happen right before our eyes all right and so at the height of this of this man's kingdom all right, you can see that he's in straits, and this is this is all prophecy. All right, while he's trying to implement his NWO, all right, which we know to be the RFID RFID C hip, all right, which we identified as the mark of the beast in the book of Revelation, chapter 13. All right, this is what he wants to implement, but while he's doing that, look what look what he's going through. All right, which we understand that he's going he believes that he's the one causing this to happen. He believes that that he uh has control over everything that's happening but really it's the heavenly father that's doing this to him man all right and so it says <clears throat> i actually want to jump down to uh the to this paragraph it says september 30th marks the end of the fiscal year and lawmakers will have to finalize a 2024 budget deal by october 1st to avoid a government shutdown but not one of the 12 appropriation bills required to fund the government has passed through congress yet making it unlikely that a plan will be passed by the deadline the threat of a shutdown comes as the U.S. economy is already feeling the pressure of inflation, interest rate hikes, and a high deficit. UAW strikes, renewed student debt payments, and rising gas prices, said Gary Schlossberg and Jennifer Timmerman at the Wells Fargo Investment Institute. That's right. So even these Edomites, even the, this, these uh, current rulers, man, can see, look, man, we, you know, this, this is, this is bad news you know because if a government shutdowns won't well, matter of fact reading that uh next next uh paragraph it says each of those things they said weighs on housing consumer finances and government financing expenses and adding to recession risk during the closing months of the year it says why it matters a government shutdown would stop most government agency activities and services and require all non-essential government personnel to take unpaid leave Analysts at EY estimate that there are about 800,000 non-emergency federal workers with an average salary of $95,000 each. The extent of the damage comes down to how long a potential shutdown lasts. Each week of a government shutdown, estimated Gregory Daco, EY 
Fed chief economist and his team will cost the U.S. economy six billion dollars and shave GDP growth by 0.1 percentage points in the fourth quarter of 2023. So this is all bad news if a government shutdown happens. And as we're reading, you know, it looks like more than likely that's what's going to happen. All right. And once that happens, these people, they're going to be out their jobs. All right. And they're not going to know what to do because the inflation prices that are going up, man, not only for food, but for gas. All right. And for all the essentials. And if they're not able to work, you know, then they're not going to be able to pay for these things. And it's going to get a lot worse. All right. And this is all according to prophecy. And so um, I would allow I'll go ahead and post this article in the, de the description that way you brothers and sisters can read the rest on your own but from here i want to get to the book of job chapter 15 and verse 20 and it reads the wicked man travaileth with pain all his days and the number of years is hidden to the oppressor that's right the wicked man travaileth in, with pain all his days that's why ever since america was established they've been in war i believe there is only i believe about 98 percent of the time they've actually been at war ever since america was established all right it says and the number of years is hidden to the oppressors that's right because they don't know how long america is going to last they believe that they won all right they believe that america is going to last forever but we understand that that's not so all right because the heavenly father had numbered the wicked man's days there's only a certain amount of time that the wicked is is allowed to rule and he cannot pass those bounds as the scripture saith. All right. And so um, the rest I want to read in the NLT. So Job chapter 15 and verse 21, the sound of terror rings in their ears. And even on good days, they fear the attack of the destroyer. That's right. The destroyer being Yahweh Shai, man. All right. They fear that attack because they understand that at any point in time he can return. All right. Which they know the scriptures man they know that the the third world has to come all right they know that it, the motb has to be, be implemented man all right and even so they're still walking according to what they what they are destined to do all right they believe that they're doing it in their own mind they believe that they have control over this chaos all right which is why they're still going to implement the the rfid c hip all right <clears throat> that's going to go under the skin the your right hand or your forehead all right they believe that by them doing that they're going to be able to defeat the heavenly father all right but it says in verse 22 they dare not go out into the darkness for fear they will be murdered that's right so even though they believe in this they are still acting upon what what they are destined to do all right because they were made to do exactly what they're doing right now man cause chaos upon the earth all right take peace from the earth all right uh destroy and go around uh beating the nations into subjection to a point to where all the nations hate them and that's what we're seeing man all right now you got russia and north korea linking up okay you have china and russia linking up man you have you have saudi arabia and uh, uh russia linking up all right and these are all uh, um big nations other than like north korea which is a pretty small nation but even that pertaining to joel 3 you know the they're beating their plowshares into swords man all right a sound of battle is in the air and so it says verse 23 they wander around saying where can i find bread they know their day of destruction is near that's right they know their day of destruction is near and that's why you have these uh preppers all right these edomite preppers that are all over youtube all right all over rumble man they they're posting videos telling people to rep to prepare to to um to prep all right get get it get a whole bunch of uh toilet paper a whole bunch of food stock up all right because they know that america's destruction is near but they believe that they're going to be able to survive through it man but it ain't so all right and it's so and it says verse 24 that dark day terrifies them they live in distress and anguish like a king preparing for battle and that's what we're seeing like a king preparing for battle you see him uh just just about two weeks ago he actually tested out uh his minuteman three missile which is an icbm all right and it was to to uh what they said to flex their military strength man you know work out pretty much you know they're they're starting to build upon that man and pretty soon you're gonna have a draft come over here in america man all right so you people need to be prepared for what's about to come man all right because the heavenly father 
is going to allow all out chaos, man. He's going to allow judgment to rain down upon you, man. If you don't take heed and you don't repent. That's why it's important that you do your best to walk according to the righteous ways, man. Rehearsing the righteous acts and overall having faith uh, that Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai will be able to save you out of it, man. All right. And through your faith, will you rehearse those righteous acts? And so it says, verse 25, for they shake their fist at God, defying the Almighty. For they shake their fist at Yahweh, defying the Almighty, saying that a man can, uh, can become a woman. All right, that, that a child doesn't need to listen to their parents. All right, they're calling themselves the, the Jews, man. They're calling themselves the Israelites. Right, they, they paint the images of, of the saints, of the Heavenly Father, of the Messiah in their, in their own image. All right, whitewashing everything. Well, because of that, well, now that's why you have this happening. All right. A shutdown happening. You have you have all these countries, all these nations rising up against America, a.k.a. Babylon the Great. All right. This is all according to prophecy. And it's beautiful seeing this happen because once again, we understand that our kingdom is right around the corner. And so from here, <clears throat> I want to jump to my next my next and my last article, which reads Zelensky warns United Nations that Putin's war will come for them, says Ukrainian President uh, Vol Volodymyr Zelensky urged United Nations members to join his country in pushing back against Russia. President Vladimir Putin's aggression warning they could be next and that the Kremlin's war may not end with Ukrainian Ukraine's borders. That's right, because this is going to be this. We're already seeing that this is starting World War Three, man. All these countries gearing up against uh, uh, with each other, man. All right. Russia being a guard onto these other nations, Libya. All right. Turkey, so on and so forth. All right, Russia, this is all this is all according to prophecy. You know, Ezekiel 38 is playing out right before our eyes. Joel 3, this is all happening and it's happening speedily, man. All right. And so it says Zelensky wearing his army green crew shirt and speaking from the podium of the General Assembly also warned of the threat of nuclear weapons in the war, saying the UN needed to stand up against Putin and Russia to protect the world from the final war after which no one would gather in the general assembly hall again that's right because they understand that this if world war three fully pops off hey well then this is going to be the last time that they're able to war why because they are willing to use those thermonuclear missiles to destroy each other man all right and that's exactly what's going to happen man they're going to send thermonuclears against each other mainly and specifically over here in america man they're going to send them over here all right, and completely and utterly annihilate this place, man, because these other countries, as this war goes on, they're realizing that America is the culprit, that America is the, is the real and true enemy. All right. And so it says, while nukes remain in place, the mass destruction is gaining momentum, said Zelensky. The aggressor is weaponizing many other things, and those things are used not only against our country, but against all of yours as well. That's right. So even this this Edomite here, all right, which I believe him to be Edomite, uh, but he is even warning these people, man. He's warning the rest of the nations. Like, look, man, you know, at first... You know, at first this was kind of, you know, this was this was a uh, this was a uh, all fun and games, but now you know they are really about to destroy shit, man. <laughs> they are dead serious on taking not only us over but the whole world. All right, and so it says, and that's that fear that's being instilled instilled in them, man. That fear they destroy it, man, because they know this is the, you know, this is it. This is the final war. You know, and matter of fact, before I continue, let me get this precept in the book of Amos. chapter 3 and verse 8 and it says the lion hath roared who will not fear the lord yahweh has spoken who can but prophesy that's right he has spoken through his prophets man letting the people know what the the coming destruction that's about to happen and so it says Zelensky, Zelensky's back in this article, Zelensky's speech followed an address by President Biden that also centered on the need for international action against Russia. Biden and Zelensky are both seeking to build continued international support for Kyiv amid fears of war fatigue. 
in Europe and the United States, where Republicans in Congress could remain divided over Ukraine. The war is now in its 19th month, and the conflict has taken immense attention and resources from the U.S. and other advanced economies. So, you know, this is that this is that precept, man, in the book of Isaiah, are thou become as weak as we. Isaiah 14 and verse... <clears throat> 16 they that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee saying is this the man that made the earth to tremble that did shake kingdoms that made the world as a wilderness and destroyed the cities thereof that opened not the house of the prisoners you know so they they're gonna look upon america and, and they're already looking upon america like man this is this is the guy you know that the the mighty man all right because hey these americans know that, uh, that America is finished, bro. They, these people, they know that this is the end of America, bro. You know, we are in the final days of this place. And therefore, it, you, we have to rejoice, man. Because we understand that after this is our kingdom. All right? And so, um, like I said, I'll post these articles in the description. From here, I want to jump to the book of Joel chapter 3. <laughs> And uh, I'm going I'm to uh, get right to the point. Verse 12, it says, let the heathen be wakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat, where for there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about that. That's right. That that uh, Jehoshaphat uh, in the Hebrew is Yahweh Shapat, which means Yahweh's judgment. All right. For there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. So the Lord is gathering the nations together man that he's separating them gathering the 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 two sides that are going to be fighting all right and then he's going to bring them over there to the so-called middle east where they're going to war man all right and at the same time over here in america you're going to have race wars martial law all right you're going to be you're going to have all it's going to be all out chaos and if you don't have that hedge of protection around you well then you're as good as dust all right and it says let the heathen be wakened whenever you get that word wakened See if I can get it real quick. I'm sorry, I can't. <laughs> that word waking is rouse oneself, awake in sight, to rouse oneself, to be roused, to stir up in sight, to be excited, be triumphant, to rouse, to stir up. You know, and that's what Zelensky is doing, man. He's stirring up these nations, letting them know, hey, Russia's not just coming for us, man. They're coming for the world. You know, and if we don't if we don't stand together and fight, you know, then they're going to overtake us all. And so that's beautiful, man, seeing this happen right before our eyes. But those of us who believe and have faith that Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh can save us, you know, that faith is what's going to save us, man. All right, that faith is going to get us through these trials and the, through these tribulations, through that hour of temptation, whenever the MOTB is being implemented, man. So from here, I want to end it off on this. The book of Isaiah, chapter 29, and I'm going to start at verse 19, and it reads, The meek also shall increase their joy in Yahweh, and the poor among men shall rejoice in the Holy One of Israel. And why is that? Because we understand that we are at the, we are at, at the end of this kingdom, man. All right. And so it says, verse 20, for the terrible one is brought to naught, and the scorner is consumed and all that watch for iniquity are cut off. That's right, because that wickedness that, that is here upon the planet Earth is going to completely and utterly be annihilated, man. All right. Now, of course, you're going to have people who are in the flesh that are that are throughout the earth that we're going to have to go and judge. But at the end, once we're done. Hey, everything is going to be restored, man. All right. Whenever Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh gives us that power. All right. To judge and, and to rule these nations with the rod of iron. All right. We're going to rule them very harshly within that first thousand years. But after that, hey, well, the earth is going to be cleansed. All right. And that's why it tells you in the book of Romans 8 that the whole creation groaneth and waited for the manifestation of the son of God for Yasharala. And so it says, verse 21 that make a man an offender for a word and lay a snare for him that reproveth in the gate and turn aside the just for a thing of not that's right calling calling righteousness wickedness all right saying that that a man could be a woman 
all right allowing i just seen um an article about this uh uh tranny who is a cheerleader now in the nfl so these things are spreading man all right and it's only going to get worse you know and that's why we have to continue to trust and have faith in yahweh by shimei was shy because if not hey well then we really have no hope because it, nothing that anybody says you know that speaks out against uh, against these things nothing is changing you know the only thing that's going to be able to change it or the only one that's going to be able to change is yahweh by hashem yahweh shai and so it says that making a, a man an offender for a word man you know you try you 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 can't even say gay without offending someone man you can't even say you can't say anything nowadays man they taking away the freedom of speech the freedom of of religion all right they're you, these americans man if you're not paying attention well then you're gonna find out and uh you're gonna be rudely awakened all right and so it says verse 22 isaiah 29 and verse 22 therefore thus saith yahweh who redeemed abraham concerning the house of jacob jacob shall not now be ashamed neither shall his face now wax pale hey, and that's why you see more israelites all right coming together all right fighting against these other nations man all right and it's not just judites uh coming together it's not just just uh it's christ it's not just ham uh so like i almost say ham it's not just uh levites coming together all right but it's all of our all of our nation that's coming together man and it's a beautiful thing and so it says verse 23 but when he seeth his children, the work of mine hands in the midst of him, they shall sanctify my name and sanctify the Holy One of Jacob and shall fear the power of Israel. That's right, because these other nations are going to witness the gathering of the nation of Israel. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, North American Indians, man. All right. And when they see it, they're going to know, oh, OK, so there is a God in the heavens and he's for these people. All right. And so it says, verse 24, they also that erred in the spirit shall come to understanding and they that murmured shall learn doctrine. And that's why you see a lot of a lot of uh, Israelites repenting, man, coming back, seeking out Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, you know, someone you may have told this truth about, you know, maybe a year or two years ago, a couple of years ago, you know, a few years ago. And now now that they see everything that's happening, you know, they might come back to you. All right. They might be seeking you out on the comment board. All right, asking for forgiveness, asking to be taught. All right, this the meek are going to inherit the earth, and the meek are coming in, man. All right, and so while you have this grace period, use no use not the grace period for an occasion to to the flesh, a eh, but really and diligently seek for repentance that you, that way you may be forgiven, and hopefully you know you're not only called but you're chosen. You know, speaking of myself first and foremost. So with that being said, I pray that this lesson was edifying and uplifting of the spirit. Once again, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. All right, keep your head up, man. All right, stay on your watch. Until the next time I say, Shalom.